Hey guys, it's Dr. Adrian and in this video I would like to discuss what happens after radioactive iodine treatment and what can you do to improve your symptoms or even get rid of them. So many often you ask us this question, you tell us that you've had radioactive iodine treatment which we don't, by the way, recommend. Uh, I mean, if you follow our channel, you probably know that there are three main problems with this kind of treatment for thyroid disease. The first one is that it doesn't fix the root cause of your thyroid disease. And uh, the second one is that symptoms can actually get worse according to the research and to the statistical data uh, that you can check on PubMed. And the third problem is that thyroid eye disease may develop. So this, is, this can be a trigger of thyroid eye disease. And again, it goes you know, hand in hand with the second point, which means that your symptoms, like for example, anxiety, depression, uh, etc., can actually get worse. Uh, having said that, I still uh, want to give you a solution, right? Because I know that some of you uh, went this way, you got the advice from the endocrinologist who unfortunately, you know, gave you this treatment be before, uh, you know, trying the more natural approach and uh, it didn't help you it unfortunately didn't help you that's why you are here today you're watching this video and you are searching for more information so the first thing that you want to uh, do and you have to understand also is that anytime you are getting this treatment you automatically become hypothyroid for the rest of your life so what you have to do is you have to focus on natural treatments for hypothyroidism and not any longer for hyperthyroidism. So any kind of information that we are giving on our channel uh, will most probably you know, apply to your situation. If you had radioactive iodine treatment, you just have to search for the blogs and uh, videos uh, about natural treatments for hypothyroidism. So for example, diet advice that we are giving on our website thyroidboss.com or supplements uh, that we are offering on h-boss.com will apply to you, will apply to your situation. Also blog articles that we are writing and the videos that we are, you know, producing here on the channel will of course also apply to you. This is, uh, you know, slightly different uh, situation than uh, uh, from the person that has, uh, you know, hypothyroidism, but I would say 90% of the advice will, uh, will apply. So you want to go this, uh, this, you know, way, this, uh, yeah, you want to just, you know, copy paste the approach that applies to, that would apply to hypothyroid person. And uh, in addition, uh, in my next videos, I will uh, make the videos that, uh, about the differences between the natural treatments of uh, hypothyroidism and natural treatments of hypothyroidism, but in the situation uh, when the person had, uh, you know, radioactive iodine treatment. So, you know, after you've been basically hyperthyroid and then you developed hypo because of this treatment. So. I hope this uh, answers your question. I know that there is a little bit confusement here, uh, but uh, the most important is that you understand that you know any time you have this treatment, you are automatically uh, becoming hypothyroid. So you know even though you fix maybe the symptoms of this uh, problem, you are automatically jumping into another problem, uh, which is one of the reasons also we don't recommend this. Uh, this treatment. But in next videos, uh, I will try to specify which things you can be doing in order to fix, you know, still fix your symptoms. And in the meanwhile, try to uh, watch the videos about hypothyroid natural treatments, and this should help you. If you have any questions, just comment below the video and uh, I will answer them together with my wife, Dr. Julia. See you in the next video.